Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a little video here uh, showing how to set your timing uh, with a standalone. I know that sounds like something that should be really easy and it actually really is. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this video is because I see on the forums, um, especially the 2JZ NAT forum, uh, for all the guys that do NAT conversions, like this engine is and this engine's going to be, uh, so it's just, I don't know about other forums and I don't know how many people aren't doing it right, but uh, I figured just do a video and whoever uh, needs it will watch it. So uh, when you do a standalone, what you gotta do is just, just because you get the car running, okay? When you get the car running and you're looking at your, let's pull up, uh, we'll pull up the ECU master software really quick and we'll kind of go through it. Uh, Okay, so I'm, over, I'm in the uh, ECU master software here. You're gonna go to your ignition, you're gonna go to your ignition table, and you know, you got your car running, right? And you, your, your cursor, or the uh, X, it's like a line here, and it goes this way and this way. Uh, it's gonna be floating inside one of these numbers, okay? Uh, that doesn't necessarily, just because you got it running doesn't mean that, that your car is running on that timing that you're looking at on the graph, okay? There's offsets in these that you have to adjust. And the only way to do it is with a timing light. Too many people are running these engines without actually putting them on a timing light, okay? Uh, and so yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because the last post I read, a guy was having terrible issues with detonation, okay? And I asked him if he was, I mean, everybody was saying it's your fuel pressure. <laughs> It's your, um, you know, uh, your fuel filters clogged. Uh, I mean, oh my goodness, like, do you have a boost leak? I mean, there was so many, like, just bad information. I, I, I can't even, I'm kind of speechless about it. But anyway, if, you're, if your car's detonating for no reason, when you get up into this, like he showed his timing graph and his timing graph was really good. It looked fine. You know, it, like, uh, I don't know, like 20 pounds of boost, he was really low on his timing. Like he was real conservative, like 12 or 13 uh, degrees of timing, right? I'm, I'm way above that. You know, I'm on E85, but it's a little bit different. So um, yeah, his timing graph looked great, but yet it was detonating. So the engine was seeing way more timing than what the ECU was showing him. So um, you, got, you, you have got to put it on a timing light. Even if you got your car running now and you think it's running great, throw a timing line on it and just to double check. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, on a stock engine with a stock balancer, all right, you got a mark on top of the balancer right here. That's gonna be your timing mark, okay? You're gonna match that with your little cover here. You know, you got your cover, it says zero, five, and 10, and then that would be 15 degrees there, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to get your engine started. You're going to get it warmed up and then you're going to go into, uh, on ECU master. I'm going to show you how to do it on ECU master, but you can do this on fuel tech, haul tech, every tech. Okay. <laughs> Any of the ECUs, they have this feature where you can adjust your timing offset. All right. So you're going to go into your, um, on ECU master, you're going to go into your uh, let's see, primary trigger, and you're gonna go into, oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. you're gonna go right here, okay? Sorry, this is taking me a while, but you're gonna click ignition lock. And when you do, it brings up a little thing that shows you you can set it at 10 degrees or 15 degrees or whatever, okay? I recommend 10 degrees because if you're running a stock balancer and you got the stock uh, cover, you're gonna wanna put it on 10 degrees. now. With, with this setup, this is a little bit different, okay? If you're going with the way I did it, uh, this balancer here has the timing marks on it, okay? Instead of the cover. So in order to time this engine, I had to set it up. I had to get this at, you know, top dead center, get everything lined up perfectly. I know I'm at zero degrees of uh, advance. And then what I had to do was make a little pointer. Okay, I have a video about that about a year, maybe a year and a half ago of making a pointer, okay? And that pointer is on zero degrees. Okay, so now I know that um, when I'm looking at my balancer and it's running, 
I'm just gonna look at the balancer. I'm not gonna look at, you know, a cover that's gonna be over here, like you would on, <clears throat> on this. All right, you'd be looking at that instead. And you're just gonna line up the white mark that's here, okay, that notch with your 10 degrees. All right, so, and then <clears throat> get your engine started and uh, you're gonna go in here and it's gonna be your trigger angle. Okay, you're gonna be adjusting that. So you're gonna be going up or down, depending on what, um, you know, if, if, you're, if you got it set at 10 degrees and it's at like 12 or 13 degrees, you're gonna lower that number or raise it. I don't remember which one it is. But uh, anyway, you have to adjust that. And you can go slow, you know, you can raise it up one or two or three or four, check it again, or, or the best thing is to have a friend with you and they'll, you know, they'll adjust it while you're timing it, you know, while you got the timing light pointing at the, uh, the balancer. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it when you have coils like this, okay? So if you're running coils that, you know, just press right on like these or the, I think the 1NZ coils or the other coils, you know, you can't get a timing light um, inductor on it. Okay, this is your, this is your little inductor right there. And you have to wrap it around a, you know, the first plug, you gotta wrap it around the wire. Well, you can't do that here, okay? You can't, it won't work. Even if you try to put it around the, you know, your harness, it's not gonna work. So what you gotta do is you gotta get, make yourself a little jumper, um, which I made, let's see. Right here, I took an old, um, you know, this is the original ignition with the uh, wasted spark setup, and I just kind of made a little jig here. And you're basically just going to take this off. Okay, it'll come off. Okay, take that off. You're gonna lay it to the side like this so where it's not gonna get caught up in the, uh, you know, the uh, timing. Um, So yeah, you wanna lay it off to the side a little bit, make sure it's not gonna get caught up in your timing gears or whatever. Uh, and then we're gonna plug this in. There's just a little little plug. You're gonna plug it in here. Just kinda of press it in. Pretty simple, press that in there. Then you're gonna put this on your plug, just like that, okay? Make sure it's just kind of out of the way and you're not gonna be you know, having an issue there. You clamp your inductor. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand and it's, I know it's just gonna be kind of crazy on the video, but <clears throat> put your inductor on there and that's that. That'll work, okay? That's gonna give you your pickup signal. Okay, so we're gonna start it back, we're gonna start it up. I'll have the ECU on there and um, I'll uh, get the timing light and we'll see if we're on 10 degrees. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. I tried to turn the lights off in here, so maybe it would show up, but I doubt it. But anyway, uh, so I checked it and it was on 11 degrees. So that means from the first time I set this thing, um, over a year ago probably, uh, timing has moved a degree. Okay, so that could be anything. That could be belt stretch. That could be, I don't know, anything. It could be the sensor, you know, it, it just, there's all kinds of little things. So it's good to actually check your timing 
every once in a while. Uh, it doesn't hurt, you know? Um, yeah. So now I'm going to go in there and I'm going to adjust it up or down a little bit and see if I can get it back to the uh, 10 degrees. I'm, I mean, like I said, it was only 11 degrees. So it, it's very, very close. Uh, and it was actually like maybe 10 and a half, almost 11. So, I mean, it was, it was very close. But um, anyway, I think you guys get the point, okay, on how to do this. And it, it, again, it is really important to do. I mean, is if you don't, you really run the risk of blowing your engine up. I mean, it's the easiest way to blow an engine up is to detonate it, bar none. You can run them lean, you can run them rich, you can all that. But detonation from too much timing is a bad thing, okay? All right, so I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you all that, show you how to set it up, show you how to do it in the ECU and show you how important it is. Um, it's very important. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. Just wanted to show you guys how to time one of these. It's real simple and I recommend doing it. So anyway, that's gonna do it, y'all. Check you later.